We're in Fontana, California, home of the California Speedway for today's Auto Club 500. It's another great day for racing. About an hour east of Los Angeles, you will find the two-mile California Speedway. Today, NASCAR has come to the land of Hollywood, and the stars are ready to shine. When the checkered flag falls, will your name be on the marquee? We're about to find out as EA Sports presents the Auto Club 500. It's my hometown track. Auto Club Speedway, even though it was mentioned as California Speedway back in the 04, 05 days, mid 2000s basically. But yes, my hometown track is Auto Club Speedway in Fontana. But I have not had as much luck. The hometown luck has not been with me as I much as I want to. As you can see, NASCAR 6, the Auto Club 500 there. I hit Rusty Wallace and spun out, unfortunately. We get another look at it. Um, it was not as pretty as I wanted it to be. Just. Got really loose coming off too and couldn't straighten it out. That's all it was. I mean, I don't know how it happened there. It's just nothing that I could do at the end of it. However, in the end, I was able to salvage a top five finish. In fact, it was fourth. So even though I had that one spin, it still was a pretty good race. I had to say that much about it. So yeah, the second time around NASCAR 06, it was a night race. And I was actually doing really good until I got tight after hitting Matt Kansas in the middle of turn 1 and 2. Ran into Greg Biffle, hit the wall, Rusty Walls, again, I ran into, out the caution. And apparently I can't stop hitting Rusty Walls at California Speedway, as again, I hit him as I was trying to follow Kansas, and unfortunately I can't keep it straight, that did not happen. I spun out again, at the end of the back straightaway. I don't know what was wrong with me. Unfortunately, I needed to take two tires at the risk. I had to take the risk of two tires to make sure I got out at the same time as anyone else, which did okay for me. But with 10 laps to go, like I say, I got tight, tried to get back down, and Harvick was already there. Was committed to the bottom. I came down there, and I didn't know he was there until it was too late. Tried to save it actually, so I had the analog stick as far right as I could. And with three laps to go, I thought I had top five, but I hit the wall coming out of four. Ran down the apron, and of course the apron is really slippery. I can't keep it straight once again. And right there, I spin it out, bring out another caution. And instead of a top five, I came away with a top ten instead. I was seventh, surprisingly. I thought I got ninth, but, you know, that's how NASCAR 6 went. But uh, NASCAR 7 was a bit different. The first time around especially, I was able to hold off Mark Martin and Tony Stewart and somehow get this win it was crazy it was it was pretty boring though but i did manage to hold him off at the end so that was really good and then we come to nascar 8 the first time around it's the all club 500 once again and i'm driving it deep into one under jimmy johnson and just got into him there we go it doesn't take much nascar 8 to spin someone now or yourself for that matter but on the last lap, I was actually trying to get a top 5 again. I slipped up track in 1 and 2. Ooh, man, it was tight going in the, one, in the middle of 1 and 2, then got loose coming off of 2. But I got a run down the back straightaway, got under Sterling Marlin, and tried to get Mike Wallace before we got to the finish line. I'm um, loose again. Ooh, man, that was, oh, man, really loose. So unfortunately, I could not... Well, actually, no, it looked like I had a chance right here. One last shot, and I just didn't have enough momentum at the end to pull it off. Sixth place instead of a bit top five, so that wasn't too bad either. Now I get to NASCAR 3004. I had a chance to win. Unfortunately, again, I got too tight going off turn two and hit the wall. And instead of a chance for a win, I had to settle for a fourth place finish. So that was kind of a downer because I thought maybe I had a chance to win. But uh, this, the the second time around, that's not as far as kind of more of a downer to me. Because look at that. I'm leading right before we come to the pits. And if you listen into the audio, you'll see why this is much more disappointment than the other NASCAR 2004 race. So listen up. Alright, still some time left in this race, so if I need to catch up, it's, a, it's okay. No! 
Damn it, the air gun got jammed. That's not what I was hoping for, a jammed air gun. I was severely disappointed because instead of getting a chance for the win once again, I had to settle for almost six. Johnson blocked me at the end, I got seventh instead. So that was not how I wanted to spend another race at my hometown track. But I think NASCAR 2005 may have broken it. As you can see, Caden just decided, oh, let me just drive in and down the apron and try to and slide the track for no reason whatsoever. That the apron would work unless it was NASCAR 2005 one of these early games. I mean, come on, that's definitely not what I want. So I dropped all the way back to 26 after being in top 10 until King did that. Then I drive down into Greg Biffle and wreck right before I hit turn one, right at the end of the trial hole. So that was really bad. So I had to pit and fix all that damage to my car. No one else pitted. So I'm thinking, let me see if I can save fuel, not fuel for the finish. Unfortunately, my dumb. I'm so dumb because I hit the apron, I hit the wall again, I could not keep the car straight, I hit the apron again, there I go spinning around. So that basically ruined the fuel strategy option that could have given me the win. So instead I had to try to hold the whole field off, I did not. Look at Newman's already ahead. And I'm loose coming off 4 and oh my goodness I hit the wall. Almost, I flipped on my side, that's almost upside down. So I was trying to hold on for a top 10 now as we had a one lap shootout now so it's like not looking really good for me because I have most worn tires out of anyone and I just cannot keep it straight this is now 2005 I don't have I have little to no experience with this game as you can see I'm already dropping back spots like crazy I'm already outside of top 10 Brendan gone goes by me that puts me out of the top 10 and I'm just trying to hold on oh my goodness hit the wall I'm pretty sure I don't know who that was actually uh, that was the, oh, that was Jeff Gordon. Jeff, I ran up into Jeff Gordon by accident, and I'm thinking, okay, man, I can say I was top 20. Nope, I hit Jeff Gordon again, went around, and Biffle again, I hit, and it's just uh, went a big disappointment, and it's as big a disappointment as last place. Yeah, everyone passed me at the end, and I finished last instead of getting a decent, decent finish. So, yeah, the. Probably the biggest disappointment I've ever had at my hometown track. How embarrassing that must have been, right? Well, NASCAR, I hope to redeem myself. And we actually had a little conversation here as Stewart tried to force me off pit road. I had to really slow down and then just follow him going in pits. Because somehow he said, oh, let me just move up to the top part of the pit road. I'm like, why? Like right by pit road, pit road wall, the outside pit road wall. Like why? Why would you do that? And with three laps to go, I'm actually salvaging, trying to salvage the top five here. But no more confrontation with Tony Stewart as we spin out. Or at least he spins out. So I think if I had a chance to do that over again, I probably had a chance to win. Instead, I have to sell for a sixth place finish. So that's, you know, it's a little redemption from the NASA 2005 race, but still a long way from what I wanted to have. For sure. Uh, NASCAR 7, I actually had another race in NASCAR 7. I had to be really, really aggressive right here at the start. Wow, just three wide with Stewart and Gordon. Thread the needle with them. Hit the wall though, but I did manage to get through there. I also, I, I tried to do it again with Kenseth and Menard on that very same lap, but instead I had to go on the outside of them. Uh, all I thought I was going to hit the wall, hit Menard. And still hits me down into the entrance of the pit road wall with those barrels. That was that was a hard, hard lick. Hard enough lick where I had to come in the pit to fix the damage. And as I was trying to catch up, it did not work out as well as I hoped it would. As you can see, I ran into one of those custom cars and spun out because custom cars are stupid anyway. But, however, in the end, I was able to battle for the win with Dale Jarrett. That was a, it was a great battle, too. Like, watch this. I didn't think I was actually going to be able to catch up at the end, but I did somehow. And Jarrett just kind of slips up, gets tight in 3 and 4. He's kind of swerving all back and forth a little bit. I got the run off of 4, but then he gets a run with the man on the outside. Trying to beat me. Too little, too late. Got that win. So that's two wins for me at California Speedway. And the rest of my stats are going to show up on the screen. I will see you guys in...
Martinsville in two weeks. Have a happy Easter, everybody.